I've been uh, checking out these well, uh, these two streamers, namely Amorant and Indie Fox. Well, they've been uh, what's called this after only a few days, they were on band. Wow, all right. Indie Fox has just gone through her sixth. Gone through her sixth ban in a year. Okay. A bit of data kangula. How many times would it take for you to be permabanned on Twitch? It just well, it just forces you to question Twitch's integrity. Alright. First they demonetize Amorat, then they give her just a three day ban for what? Well, for repeating the same offense she got demonetized for. Okay. Yep. I don't know about you, YouTube, but Twitch, I think, is breathing a sort of double standard culture within its platform. Right? This would be unfair to other creators who are struggling the same way. Especially those who are. Uh, Gunning for either of affiliate, affiliate or partner, right? This will not sit well ethically with uh, with Twitch. Sure, it has a TOS in place, but the way they implement it, one thumb down. All right, they are not that consistent. They are not that. Uh, oh. Um, serious, right? I will be surprised if a lot of uh, big streamers on Twitch actually leave them. Right, well, one of them has already one of them has already left them. Uh, his name is Harris Heller. Okay, he's already left Twitch for YouTube. Right, so well, pina expired nya yung kanyang partner contract. So well. He has no legal impediments now to, to go full-time on YouTube. And he is a full-time YouTuber now. Alright. And he's probably had enough. Okay. I think other streamers uh, as big as Harris Heller would... Yeah. Or pro have probably have had enough of Twitch. Twitch is double standard culture. They're inconsistency in implementing the terms of ser their own terms of service and well and by the way they had the indie foxes and amaranth situation they're putting money over their own principles right they're putting money over their own value system so i tell you youtube i will not be surprised if um Twitch experiences an apocalypse the way the way YouTube did twice, right? So here's my power tip for you, YouTube. If you're a streamer and you're a repeat of, and you're a repeat offender, it would be what we Filipinos call delicadeza to quit streaming, right? You are not serving your platform. You are not serving well. You're not serving your fans properly. So again, here's my power tip. Delicadesa is what matters when you stream. You don't have that, you might as well quit streaming.